All right. So I saw that Michaela Rene um, revisited her all uh, this or that tag, and I thought I had never done it, and I uh, will go through it just for fun's sake. Uh, and it's just a tag with a lot of like choices between two different things. And I'll be coloring uh, this old work in progress in the meantime. Uh, let me just show you a bit closer what I'm doing. Uh, so this is a really old work in progress. Uh, this is how the leaves are supposed to be in the end. And I did have a old post-it note with the polychromous colors. And uh, also apparently I was using a yellow stettler. <laughs> Sergey is over there. Uh, but uh, yeah, and this is from Botanicum by Maria Trolle, and uh, yeah, that's what I will try to be doing in, I'll try to multitask here, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Alright, and I have no idea how this, how I even approach this coloring, but let's, yeah, it should be, it should be alright. Alright. First question is uh, alcohol markers or water based markers? And I, I'll i go for water based markers. Uh, I think that's. I mean, I, I've recently fallen in love with uh, alcohol markers as well, but I think like the. Yeah. The water based markers are more my thing. Yeah, I also prefer like. But that, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Uh, next up is uh, Jade Summer Grayscale or Line Art. Um, this is a hard one. I don't own any Jade Summer uh, Line Art books. I own one Jade Summer Grayscale, the Cute Witches one. But um, yeah, but Grayscale is not really my thing. Uh, but I don't know if other... So, like, if the question was grayscale or line art, I'd go line art every time. But if it's Jade Summer line art or grayscale, I'm a bit less sure. Yeah, but I think I'll go for... I think I'll go for line art anyway, because... Hmm, or no. Hmm, it's a hard one. Uh, I actually prefer having the grayscale when it's, uh, or at least if I were to buy the Cute Witches again, I'd go for grayscale again. So I guess my answer is grayscale then. Yeah. Next question is Prismas or Polis? Easy. <laughs> Polis, every type. <laughs> I am one of the ones who probably got a batch of... Um, uh, not fake Prismas as far as I understand, but just a bad quality checked one. And I think, um, or yeah, and I don't agree with the, with, I don't know, I can't get them to go smoothly on the paper. And I just uh, struggle a lot with my Prismas. I'll make sometime in the future maybe um, a video about... Uh, <laughs> about me, my struggle <laughs> and I'll try to like do a whole picture with Prismas and see if maybe I'm just being too impatient. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Trying to see here what's happening. Maybe I should... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, okay. Moving on. Um. Next up, it's Hannah Carlson or Maria Trolle, and this is a hard question for me, um, but I think Hannah Carlson wins out in the end. I like Maria Trolle fine, but I there's more pictures by Maria Trolle that I um, not don't like, but yeah, I guess. I mean, that I, I just prefer more, like a higher percentage of the... Uh, Hannah Carlson's pictures. Um, yeah. Especially the... Um, the uh, newer... Or the style that uh, Maria Trolle is leaning towards uh, with her 
new books like i'm not sure i will be buying her next one but that's just me i have a weird uh, taste anyway so yeah uh, color by number or non-color by number non-color by number <laughs> i have one color by number book now um it's a george the fixes one and um I uh, like it this far, but uh, mm, non-color by number is definitely my yeah more of my jam. I don't like the uh, the numbers showing up, and I um, I mean when I do mindless coloring, I also prefer non-color by number. So yeah. Next up is mandalas or patterns. I think patterns. Um, this is too tedious. Let's not go with that. patterns. Are uh, like if I look at what I have actually uh, finished, and I've definitely finished more pattern pages than I have mandala pages. Um, so yeah, definitely patterns. Next up is double sided or single sided. Now I'll be in the minority here and go for double sided. I um, I know I know I know <laughs> all of you yelling at uh, uh, different uh, at artists that they should always print double uh, single sided books, and I'm like no stop. <laughs> I uh, really prefer having uh, double sided books, and it has to do with like. Um, my will to actual actually finish each page and then in the end i want to like flip through it and have you know everything colored and everything and just be flipping through it like a book uh in a way that you can't i mean no nah, it, it's not the same for me um and also when i have single-sided books i am always tempted to use uh, alcohol markers since they can only be used on single-sided books and then the yeah like the bleed on the back side uh, sort of bothers me from the finish so you know you would get um, if i colored uh, this page with alcohol markers then when i looked at this page the bleed here would be like disturbing my my uh, line of sight i guess i don't know i'm weird but um yeah, that's how it is. And next up, let's see, single page spread or double page spread. <sighs> I like both. Um, it really depends on the design and my mood. I uh, I'm not sure I can answer that one. Like. I don't know. I don't think there's a quick rule for me there. It just depends on my mood and the design. I don't shy away from double spreads, but I don't always feel like doing a double spread either. Um, and I definitely have days when I just want to do a simple single page spread. So yeah. Uh, so I'm actually skipping that one, I think. Next one is uh, Ohuhu or Kali Arts, which again, I don't uh, own either one of those. Uh, I recently got a bigger pack of like, mm, they're called Panduro's own uh, alcohol markers. Panduro is like a hobby shop here in Sweden. And... Uh, yeah, so I have uh, no idea about those, about the who who's cal or Cali Arts. Um, yeah, so I'm skipping that one as well. Next one is uh, colored by numbers with white background or with black background. And this has to do with the mosaic patterns, I think. And uh, I, again, I don't know. <laughs> I uh, The only colored by number book I've tried is the um George the Fixes one which I even haven't I haven't even finished the page in it so yeah I'm a color by number newbie but um, I think I 
would kind of like filling in uh, the spaces as some do with like a glitter gel pen or anything like that. I sometimes like that mindless aspect of filling in narrow spaces. That's why I, you know, do color patterns every now and again. Not that often, but sometimes. Hello. Um, so yeah. So I think I would go for white background and then fill it in. Uh, next up is white Posca or white gel pen. Uh, neither. I have a new. <laughs> I'm. Uh, this is my new go to, I think. Windsor and Newter ink, white ink. Uh, it's white ink, and then you have like a. Or at least I'm using a calligraphy pen. So this is an old birthday present I got. Um, and it's a calligraphy pen set. And I'm using like, you know, yeah, one of those nibs. And loving it this far. I'll get back to you. <laughs> but uh, this far I'm loving it. Um, it's just a lot more smoother application. And also the ink doesn't, uh, it doesn't like take on the color of the... Um, if you use a marker beneath or anything like that, which is just a miracle. So yeah, I'm totally sold on that. Next up. So neither. <laughs> uh, next up is morning coloring or night coloring. Um, I usually color in the evenings after work if I get the time and the will to do it. Uh, so that would be evening coloring, which is closer to night. Uh, I don't, it's been, no, I don't think I've, uh, it's been a really long time since I colored uh, late in the evening. Or, you know, till, uh, yeah, I usually so I, I would say there's a bigger chance of like morning coloring than uh, night coloring, I think, for me. Um, yeah. Next up is Chibi Girls, Jade Summer or April Amber. Um, if you like looked around at the st things I color, you'll notice that chibi and cutesy things are not really that big of a factor. Or like, I'm, I don't, I don't own, I own the pop manga coloring book. And I've colored a bit in that and I like it. Um, but uh, that's, you know, that's not really that chibi. Uh, and also I think it's a bit on the, yeah, it's not typical manga either. Um, so I'm really no, <laughs> no ex expert when it comes to uh, like, but I, I, <laughs> I don't like either <laughs> Jade Summer Chibi or uh, April Rumble Chibi. They're just not for me. Uh, so I think I'm skipping that question as well. Um, next up is Alan Robert or Emily Lidehel Öberg. Uh, this is a really hard question. Um, like, I don't know, the two styles are so different also. I just, uh, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's like uh, uh, Michaela said that uh, it's a bit of a, like it's hard. Uh, because I use them for different things. They're not like equivalently. I don't, when I'm in the mood for Emily Lidhal Öberg, I wouldn't, I'm not in the mood for Rob, Alan Robert and uh, vice, vice versa. Uh, but I think, I think I'm leaning towards Emily Lidhal Öberg. I've uh, colored a lot more pages by her. I've actually finished one of her books. So, uh, yeah, and I haven't colored that much by Alan Robert. Um, 
I do love his books, of course, or his book. I have only the uh, uh, playground. And that's another thing, I guess, you could like say it's a point for Emily Lille Hallberg that I actually own both her books, but I don't I only own one, Alan Robert. Um so yeah. Uh, so probably yeah, Emily Lille Hallberg is the answer to that one. Double images or just one copy in each book. Uh, I'm for just one again i in a perfect world i would someday like to finish all my coloring books i i'm i'm totally aware that's not uh, that's not going to happen ever and that's fine uh, it doesn't need to happen either but um oh it's a different yellow the, can you see that uh i i you know i switched markers from uh, the stadler to the uh other no to the stabilo and uh, the yellow up here is a bit more orangey a bit warmer than the yellow down here hmm, kind of like that i'll be switching between these two then i guess okay side the track uh what where was i hmm, just one copy yeah because i would like to finish uh, all my coloring books one day and in that case i wouldn't want to be forced to color two uh copies of the same image so that's that next up is johanna basswert or kelby rosanas another quite hard one i love both but i think kirby wins out i uh, I think I've colored more of Johanna Basswerd, but I just uh, love Kirby's styles. Uh, and yeah, no, Kirby wins out. Johanna Basswerd, uh, I like coloring her stuff, but I also like changing her stuff a lot. Like adding, I don't know, backgrounds or doing some creative idea of uh, how to... Um, color it in a way that's different from the first uh, thought I get when looking at the picture while Kirby Rosanas is just the design is beautiful enough that I just uh, just color it without like spending some extra thought in how to make it a bit extra um, it, it turns out extra on its own is what I mean um, and this is not like a critique of Johanna Basswerth styles or anything like that it's just you know personal preferences and my own ghosts i think but uh yeah i do like coloring johanna bass with just a few flowers every now and then just uh, kind of mindlessly or a few wreaths uh not mindlessly but uh without any creative pizzazz but um uh yeah no i think kirby wins out Right, next is pastel backgrounds or acrylic backgrounds. Hmm. Neither and both, depending on the design. Pastel backgrounds are uh, more, you know, for soft backgrounds, while acrylic backgrounds are more for uh, dark backgrounds. And those two ideas or like creative uh, or like that really depends on the picture and the uh what's it called the atmosphere that i'm going for so yeah but i guess if i had to choose to like only use one of the mediums for <laughs> forever <laughs> for backgrounds in the future i'd go for acrylics uh, you can do light backgrounds in acrylics as well. I would need to like teach myself a bit more about how to use acrylics, but that would actually be fun. Um, so yeah, the pastels seem to me at least a bit more limited in the depths of color you can get. That's just probably just me not really uh, using them in the correct way, but because like if you look at 
professional artists using pastels, of course, they get these really deep colors as well. So, um, but I think that acrylics win out for me. Next up, Hannah Lynn or Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I have a really weird relationship with Jasmine Beckett Griffith's art. I uh, love other people's finishes. I uh, have tried quite a few whips in her. I only have one of her books. It's the mermaid one. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, a Hannah Lynn for me. Uh, she's just a lot easier to I get a lot better results with her uh, line art. I am more satisfied with uh, what I've done. While uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith is uh, always and forever a struggle. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> or not wrong. I'm just, uh, I don't know. There's something, it, it's not working for me. I don't know. Oh well. Not everything is for everyone. Uh, 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 let me just finish this link. There we go. Alright. Next one is Amazon or Etsy. Alright. Um, skip ahead if you don't want to hear possibly controversial opinions. <laughs> but... Uh, kind of neither uh if in a perfect world i would like to buy my coloring books directly from the authors uh, and in etsy mostly uh, i buy things from a retailer on etsy and the thing is that then it's it would be better to buy on amazon um the author probably gets the same amount of money if it's from a retailer um, and the the shipping is often a lot lower by amazon so like if you have a book for example from asia that you want uh, and you're on a budget as i was for a long time then buying from an etsy retailer is a lot less smart than uh, actually taking the time to look up how to order from amazon japan that said, it's of course more uh, painless or like easier. So, and I'm not judging anyone who, uh, or I mean, I'm, I'm also buying from retailers on Etsy. Uh, I have done it at least in the past sometime. Uh, so, yeah. But, uh, so that's Etsy. Then if artists sell on Etsy, I do like buying from there but uh, yeah need to remember that uh, Etsy does take a percentage of the I think it's like 40 right of the sale um, so I mean the best option is if the artist has a actual personal site uh, if if you're looking at that um, Next one is, um, oh yeah, the Amazon, I mean, besides being Amazon, I, um, which is like, you know, I'm, I'm a bit anti big companies in that way, or not anti, I totally get, uh, I mean, <laughs> all power to Jeff Bezos, right? He won uh, the capitalist uh, game we're all playing, but... Um, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, so, and also, um, when I'm already, like, dipping my toes into ethics and so on, uh, I would like to be assured that uh, the big, you know, 
the when when coloring books are published under a like a publishing name and you don't always know who the artist is i sometimes am worried about what the artist's rights are if it's similar to like in the music industry when you like write off the rights to your uh, a certain number of cds for example uh, or not cds i guess it's records now right um to the not the yeah the publishing or whatever but uh yeah and how much of the percentage of the revenue actually goes to the artists and uh, all that but um i'm probably overthinking stuff as usual and it's not as if i don't buy from amazon so i probably shouldn't speak too much on this but uh, yeah if the options are etsy or uh, amazon and the coloring book is on both etsy and on amazon um and it's not a retailer that's selling the book on etsy but it's the actual artist then i'd go for etsy a lot of ifs. Uh, next one is let's see, uh, glitter gel pens or stickles. I'm a glitter gel pen gal. I uh, do use stickles every now and then. Could you move, Sergey? You're in the way. Um. Yeah, stickles are a bit harder to control and they get a bit more bulky. That's why I prefer gel pens. No, come on. You don't have to be here. <laughs> Let me just put the caps on. Come here. Okay. Can you sit on my shoulder? No. Could you go back to your little... You can go there. Come on. We can cuddle later. I can't sit there right now. No, 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 no. It's okay. Little bandit. Please. Come on. He has a nice little place here next to me now. He can sit on the desk without sitting on my coloring book. Yeah, I made it for you. Yeah, you can lie over there as well if you want to, but... Okay. All right. Here, where were we? Gel pens, yay. Next up is hardcover or softcover. I prefer hardcovers. I just like the feel of it. I like that the pages like flatten out nicely on their own without like too much effort. Um, so yeah. Uh, next up, it's uh, simple pages or intricate pages. I, I guess it depends on my mood, but uh, if you look at the whole trend, intricate pages are probably a m majority of my pages colored. Um, yeah. Then the next one is Christmas pages or Halloween pages. Hmm. Hmm, hard. Uh, I, I wouldn't color Halloween pages at Christmas. 
So, you know, and I wouldn't color Christmas pages at any part of the year that's not Christmas. I might color Halloween pictures or, you know, at least autumn Halloween adjacent picture. Uh, maybe, maybe even autumn or Halloween adjacent pictures, like witchy pages and stuff like that. If you count that as, uh, or... I don't know, even like sacrificial, like a hard, hard metal, the hard metal book, for example, uh, has some quite dark images. And I have nothing against dark images. I even like it a lot. I like it more than the cutesy Christmassy stuff. So, okay, Halloween pages is my answer to that one. <laughs> uh, all right, and that was the first part of the tag. Moving on to the new part of the tag, or like the second, maybe? No. It's not new, <laughs> but yeah, okay. The second part is um, coloring in bed or bed or at a desk. And for me, it's at a desk. I did have a period where I colored in the bed, um, but not laying down. I sort of like knelt <laughs> next to the bed and colored on the, put my coloring book on the bed and color there. Uh, I don't know. It worked then. Uh, I think my posture might have been even better than sitting at a desk. Actually, uh, probably not good on the knees. I don't know. My body's still young. <laughs> it can do stuff like that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, all right. Next up is uh, Crayola Super Tip or Statler uh, markers, I guess. Crayola Super Tips is my answer to that one. Uh, there are more, like the three kinds of markers that I, water-based markers that I have are the uh, uh, Fabri-Castell connector pens, the Statler dual tips, and the Crayola super tips. Or, uh, it's not a Crayola super tips if the European Fibra colors, which are, as far as I can tell, the same as the Crayola super tips. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I, I think it's the same. Uh, and the Crayola super tips are much better with uh, water or like be, they're easier to dilute with water and also um, at least in the batch I got they had a bit better quality while the Statler dual tips uh, had a bit problems with uh, uh, like being oversaturated the tip being oversaturated yeah, which I'd rather have that than the marker being dry, but it's still not that uh, nice to have like a lot of color coming up at the same time. The uh, so yeah, that, that's the answer to that one. Uh, next up, we have airy romantic co country or airy tracing around the world, and um, I don't own any airy books. Um, I have been eyeing the romantic country once a lot more than the tracing around the world though. So I'm going for tracing around, no, <laughs> for the, the romantic country ones. I, uh, I, it's just, when I look at the percentage of the pages that I like in those books though, it's not like high enough that to really make me take the jump. Maybe someday. I do love a lot of pictures from them, and I love the finishes everyone else has in them. So, uh, it'd be nice to put my own spin on things, but uh, it's not there yet. Yeah, such as such diva coloring or color questopia, and uh, neither for me. Yeah, <laughs> moving on. Uh, Hannah Lynn, simple or detailed? I think detailed. I only won, own one of her books and it was before she did the, I think it might even be uh, just one copy of the pages in the one I own. Uh, it's the Tattooed Darlings is the one I own. Uh, so I've never been like faced with that choice, but I think I would go for the detailed pages from the like flip throughs I've seen. Animals or people is the next one. Hmm. Both? 
Like I prefer pages where I think I prefer pages where both are in the picture. Like I love like portraits that where the per person in the portrait has not animal attributes, but like I don't know, it's wearing a. Uh, it's like I don't know, inspired by an animal, if you know what I mean. So I think no, I can't really decide on one there. I think I'm probably I have colored more portraits than I have animals, um, and I'm not. No, that's probably not true. Hmm. I have colored a lot of Hannah Carlson portraits. More Hannah Carlson portraits than Hannah Carlson animals. Or might be same same. Hmm. No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> skipping that one. <laughs> I, I'm not that good at fur though uh, yet, or I haven't really the patience to do it. Uh, so, yeah, don't know. Next up, at least, uh, is the plan colors or wing it question. Uh, yeah, oh, that's an interesting thing. It depends on my mood. I, um, if I plan colors, I don't plan anything too far in advance I, I there's usually at least a bit of winging it in my uh, colorings uh, um, so yeah there's that but I do when I do like marker pages I do choose a color combo uh, that, that I do almost always with the uh, alcohol or water-based marker pages it's just um it's such a it's one thing with pencils when you like go in a bit more lightly and you can see if it works or doesn't in another in i don't know it's more a gradual thing while with marker you get the start color directly and that's why i like planning that out a bit more than i do with pencils uh, even if as i said there's still a large element of winging it to it as well uh, so a combination of both, I think, I, I would say I'm leaning more towards winning, winging it, but uh, I don't know. Um, mm, mm, mm. Next is straight coloring or blended coloring. Again, depends on my mood, but uh, probably leaning towards blended coloring. Um, I, I do like leaving uh, things straight colored as well, and I especially have like uh, really developed a pres preference for coloring with markers, uh, water based markers, and just layering them without blending. Uh, so, yeah. But I think still, uh, like that effect is more remnant of blending than it is of straight coloring uh, so layering in that way uh, but i definitely don't need to blend everything all the time uh, right next up is uh, color by number or color by color i've never tried color by color and as i said i haven't really tried color by number either uh, the color by color books seem simpler, uh, at least the ones that I've seen. And since I'm more toward leaning towards intricate, and there are some quite really intri intricate uh, color by number books, like the George Defexis ones, I would probably uh, go for color by number. But it's not due to. Uh, the fact that it's colored by number, it's due to the, uh, the tendency of those books being more intricate. Right, let's see. We're approaching the end, but the next question is... No, I'm lying. We're halfway through the second one. Okay. 
<laughs> but uh, the next one is oh uh, alcohol markers or sharpies slash uh, permanent markers um, I don't even really know what the difference is or I mean I know I know what the difference is but yeah I think alcohol markers win out uh, They smell a bit less, right? Feels like it. And uh, at least the sharpest I had bled, like yellow, I mean. Um, and also the. What's it called? I think like there are fewer colors. The alcohol markers are more made for artists and therefore you get more colors. Maybe that's my uh, hypothesis about that. Next up is realistic colors or wacky colors. Another difficult one. Uh, that, that just depends on the page. Um, yeah, I think I might lean towards realistic colors, but that's more to do with the fact that I like browns and earthy colors and neutral colors. And I like the, but I do like the contrast between like earthy neutral colors and uh, and then a poppy color, wacky color. Uh, so, so like I like, for example, having a lot of browns in my picture and then going in with purple, which is a wacky color, I guess, in the shadows. Podcast music or audiobook? Uh, hmm. When I color, of course. Mm, I usually, yeah, wh whichever of those actually. Um, not that many podcasts, but uh, I do like listening to a story while I color. And uh, I like having YouTube in the background as well. Mm, worlds within worlds or fla fragile worlds. Uh, I'm in the minority here again when it comes to Kerberos Sanus works. Uh, neither for me. I prefer his uh, earlier books. Uh, so my favorite is actually Magimorphia. And uh, yeah. So if I had to choose between those two. Wait, no. Okay. <laughs> um. I thought it was the, what's his last name? It's the Fragile Worlds and then it's the, doesn't he have another one? Oh yeah, it's the mythic one. Um, not, not Mythomorphia, I like that one. Or, well, it grew on me. But, uh, oh, what's it called? One with all the monsters. Mythic World, I think. Yeah, Mythic World. So, uh, Mythic World and Fragile Worlds. I like neither of those two, unfortunately. They're not in my taste just. But um, I do like Worlds Within Worlds. Uh, I like the... Um, the... Uh, I don't know, just the imaginative things he comes up with, uh, with like combining stuff. So yeah, but my favorites are definitely his earlier ones. Next up is Angelkova miniatures or mandalas. And for me, it's definitely the miniatures. I finally came around to buying some of those and I'm really happy with them. I have been eyeing her mandalas as well, but uh, I don't know, maybe. And then we have body color or color on your own. I think I prefer, I mean, I like body colors. Uh, it's fun, but I think I might prefer coloring on my own. So like having two body colors per month works well for me, but more than that probably would be a bit too much. Um... New artists or all favorites? It depends on the 
art. I'm definitely not one who's loyal to any kind of branding <laughs> uh, when it comes to art as well. Um, I think I said that, that I never pre-order anything. Um, so I would say I'm probably more towards leaning towards new artists because like even when an, when an old artist that I like put out, uh, puts out a coloring book or anything, I would always check it out as if it were a new artist. So yeah, and next up is colorful palette or neutral palette, and definitely neutral palette for me. I like some pop of color every now and then, like in my neutrals, but I mostly lean towards neutral colors. I really like my browns. Color in one sitting or color little by little is the next question. Definitely one sitting for me. If possible, I prefer doing that. This is one of the few pictures that it's not uh, that way. Um, I do have a lot of works in progress, but that's mostly like failed one sitting attempts. Uh, not all of them, but some or a lot of them. Let's see, let's put a bit more orange in these here. Mm -mm -mm. TV or YouTube is the next question and to me it's definitely YouTube. I uh, don't really watch TV uh, more, more or less at all but I do like putting on either like a coloring channel or different video essays or just anything in the background. Either that or stories as I said. Right. Finally, the last question. <laughs> Color by number, pixel or mosaic, mosaic uh, or standard? Uh, and again, I have uh, really no preferences when it comes to color by number. Um, but I think standard is probably the one I would go for since I kind of like to fix this. All right, so that's that. So uh, see you in the next one. Bye.